lads, welcome to Urban Viking Ale Review. Um, I'm going to be reviewing a beer from Yorkshire and uh, yeah, it's a, a re champion. Oh, fuck it. Why do I keep trying to do that accent? I can't do it. Urban Viking Ale Review. Okay, this is a beer that was sent to me uh, by, just, by Stuart Pickard, aka Ginger Stew, aka Ginger Stew's Real Wild Trout. Um, really nice chap, I've known him for about, oh, how long has it been now? Over a year it's got to be at least. And um, he's just a really good laugh, he's really passionate about beer and we do beer mails. He's one of the first person that I've ever done a beer mail with as well. And he sent me down a beer mail with a few Mallinsons and some other ones which I'm going to be reviewing and showing off. Um, but I'm really excited about this because it's a single hot beer from Mallinsons Brewery and it's a Citra. Um, I did keep bugging him about sending me some single hot beers and he finally has. Um, 3.9% and it says a very pale ale brewed using citra hops. Amazing grapefruit and light mango nose, bitter hoppy citrus taste with a bit of grapefruit and light passion fruit finish. Okay, um, bottle conditioned. Right. Um, What else? I had a glass ready. Right, I've got a glass. Yeah, um, in regards to Citra, I've had two beers. I've had the Oakham Citra, which was really nice, but it had uh, almost like a lager sort of crispness to it. And also the Gargoyle, which was a really nice Citra as well. Uh, a bit more malty, which is what I really like about single hop beers, because although they only use one hop, you never know how it's going to be brewed. I mean, it's just it just varies like the body and the and how much of the hop they use and you know just little things like that they don't all taste the same basically so let's get this poured okay so it's bottle condition I'm gonna try not to get too much of the uh, sediment in there okay looking good looking good. To be honest with you, I don't think there's that much in there. No. I mean, it's a bit of a chill haze because I've had it in the fridge for a while, but... Oh yeah, a tiny little bit. But not much. Nice sort of smooth carbonation, it looks like. Very sort of murky, gold colour, bright white head. Let's give it a nose. Yeah, straight away getting that citra. Like it says, you do, you get the grapefruit, a bit of mango, a bit of peach. But mostly grapefruit and lemon. That's the main sort of um, smells I get. A little bit of sea salt. And even a tiny bit of cucumber. It's really, really refreshing sort of smells. Very zesty. Right. Cheers. It's a bl bloody hot day, so I'm looking forward to this. Cheers, Stuart. That is extremely light and um, refreshing. Wow. And it's got a big build up of bitterness. Yeah, right, well, straight away, <clears throat> you're getting a very light, sort of pleasant hoppiness from the citra. Very light, sort of grapefruit, lemon, lime. But then you get, um, very similar to the oakum, you're getting a bit of a lager, sort of bitterness which sort of builds but this is compared to the oakum this one's got a big bit, bit more of a build up of bitterness not overly like um, something like an imperial IPA or something like that but you know a nice zesty sort of bitterness which just grips your tongue and and just makes the beer taste really interesting um, carbonation is about mid-level but Really, really light, really refreshing. Easy, so easy to drink. I mean, this is the sort of beer that I'd love to see on cask or, or tap in a pub. Because, you know, I drink it all night, I love it. Citrus, such an amazing hop. And this is um, a great beer for people getting into ales as well. Because it's nothing too mad or in your face. But it's really, really pleasant and fruity and bitter and 
all the good things, and you can build yourself up from it, and then go on to the bigger pails and IPAs and all that sort of business. But yeah, really, really nice beer. In regards to the three citrus I've had, um, it doesn't beat the uh, the gargoyle. The gargoyle is still my favourite citra, but this is on a par with the oakum. So I think I gave that an eight and a half or something like that. So that's going to get an eight and a half as well. So. Melons and Citra, really nice beer. Get it. Thank you very much. Cheers.